What's up? My name is Ken Dumbo, the MC with the sauce. Don't forget to subscribe to Jeku. Point is this. Uh, our quotes are not do not are not made up of sense. They're not sense. They're human beings like you and I. Are they perfect? No. They make mistakes. But sometimes we have to live with those mistakes. Now, if we say that it was a mistake to have ruled that Edgar was eligible in 2021, and now it is correct to now undo that, which is a better evil. Okay? From a legal point of view and looking at the interests of the country, I can live with the first mistake that Lungu is eligible. I can live with that because I can, my view is that it is a very dangerous and selfish game that we are playing. We are playing with the country in the sense that you see, there has to be finality to every litigation, okay? I went to court, I lost, I had a position, and I was told, by the way, what I say is not the law. But what the courts say becomes, becomes the law. law. I respected that. I accepted that. They ruled that Lungu was eligible. And next, Lungu's name was on the ballot. Next, Lungu took part in the election. Next, Lungu lost. Now, is he eligible to, turn, to stand in 2026? Yes, he's eligible. Because nothing has changed between 2021 and uh, the next election. God willing, it lives up to, to, to that point. Now, to go back and start now beating the court to change its tune, that is what I find difficult to accept. That is what we should not entertain as a car. And it's very dangerous. And my worry is that a decision to the effect that Lungu is not eligible, reversing the earlier decision would destroy the, the court completely. It would destroy the court completely. No matter how creative they may be in their thinking, okay, it will simply destroy the court. Because the court itself uh, has not helped itself. It has not conducted itself very well. It has failed to win the trust and respect of the people. And I think this will be a final blow. And the people that are doing all these activities or who are behind the, the scheme, I don't think that they have the interests of the country at heart. Maybe they have the power and they think they can get away with it. They may. They may. And that is why this podcast is important, to be able to have a conversation and warn the people of this country that we are on a very dangerous path. Okay. When you go to court, there are two possible outcomes. Yeah. Okay? When you go to court, you expect either the court to rule in your favor or against you. You should be able to accept both outcomes. One person will end up crying, the other one will end up uh, rejoicing. It is the nature of our judicial system. But you don't go back. You don't go back and start beating the court. Until, uh, first of all, you don't go back by, first of all, cooking the court so that it can give you the decision that you, uh, that, that you want. That is very, very indecent, okay? It's not the way to do it, and that acts against the interest of the republic. Now, that was one of the things that uh, motivated me, okay? I have no right, because I can tell you, for example, I didn't vote for, uh, for, for, for President Lungu in 2021. I didn't. Okay? That is my right. That is my prerogative. I do not have the right to stop him from appearing on the ballot. I don't. He has the right to appear on the ballot. But he doesn't have a right to my vote. That is my prerogative. He has to earn people's votes. Okay? But this idea is not, it's happening again. In 1996, we used the law. We used the Constitution to stop Kaunda from contesting. 
Now we are about to use the courts to stop another presidential candidate from contesting. And that is what I'm warning the country, to say, please, let's make progress. This is not the way we should be conducting ourselves. We have more, far more pressing bread and butter issues to do.